listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in the test book. Part 1 Directions For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. They're leaving the room. B. They're turning on the machine. C. They're standing near the table. D. They're reading the newspaper. Statement C. They're standing near the table. Is the best description of the picture. So you should select answer C and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. He's walking around the office. B. He's putting on his jacket. C. He's working at his desk. D. He's picking up a cup. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. The bicycles are lying on the ground. B. The people are driving their cars down the road. C. The bicycles are parked in front of the buildings. D. The people are riding their bicycles along the street. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. The man is moving some chairs. B. The people are eating in a restaurant. C. The waiter is serving some sandwiches. D. The woman is ordering her meal. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. The stairs have been carpeted. B. The woman is going upstairs. C. The railing has been removed. D. The window is being cleaned. Number 5. Look at the picture marked number 5 in your test book. A. The swimmers are in the water. B. The boats are out to sea. C. The pedestrians are crossing the bridge. D. Some people are standing on the shore. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. They're setting the table for a meal. B. They're concentrating on some documents. C. They're taking off their glasses. D. They're taking their seats for a meeting. Go on to the next page. Number 7. Look at the picture marked number 7 in your test book. A. The books have been arranged in piles. B. The bookshelves have fallen over. C. The cart has been turned on its side. D. The files have been stacked on the bookshelf. Number 8. Look at the picture marked number 8 in your test book. 
A. The shopkeeper is lining up some goods for sale. B. The man is holding some reading material. C. The shopper is picking out clothes from the rack. D. The man is folding the merchandise on the table. Number nine. Look at the picture marked number nine in your test book. A. The man is building a brick wall. B. The man is taking off his cap. C. Some weeds are growing next to a wall. D. Some trees are being planted in pots. Number ten. Look at the picture marked number ten in your test book. A. The pins have been pressed into the board. B. The cups have been left to dry. C. The closet is full of boxes. D. Pencils have been arranged in containers. Go on to the next page. Part two. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Select the best response to the question or statement, and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. For example, you will hear, "Where is the meeting room?" You will also hear, "A." To meet the new director. B. It's the first room on the right. C. Yes, at two o'clock. The best response to the question "Where is the meeting room?" is choice B. It's the first room on the right. So B is the correct answer. You should mark answer B on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number eleven. Number eleven. How much is a taxi to the airport? A. Three miles from here. B. Ten dollars one way. C. It leaves in an hour. Number twelve. Where did you get your hair cut? A. It was getting too long. B. About every two months. C. At the new shop downtown. Number thirteen. When will you be returning to work? A. Sometime next week. B. I went to visit my family. C. Please return it by two o'clock. Number fourteen. Which country did Amy say she's from? A. She'll be here next week. B. No, she lives in the city. C. She's from Japan. Number fifteen. Who will be joining us at dinner? A. Tonight at seven o'clock. B. Jim and Mary are coming. C. We'll be having chicken. Number sixteen. When can you submit the report to Mr. Chang? A. Today's weather report. B. By Tuesday afternoon at the earliest. C. Mr. Chang hasn't called all day. Number seventeen. Do you prefer to work the morning shift, or are you available later? A. I'll be happy to refer you. B. Later is better for me. C. Yes, it works very well. Number eighteen. Who left this memo on my desk? A. I'll find it for you. B. They have to be finished by tonight. C. Ms. Kim did while you were at lunch.
Number 19. Excuse me, do you think you could turn the music down a little? A. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was here. B. Turn right and then left. C. I think I left that CD in my car. Number 20. Have you seen my scissors? A. Those scissors are sharp. B. I've never been there. C. Look next to the printer. Number 21. What did you think of Ms. Iwata's presentation? A. I wasn't able to attend. B. Yes, I plan to be there. C. It's a beautiful gift. Number 22. How did your lecture go yesterday? A. He was out yesterday. B. It couldn't have been better. C. Yes, I'm ready. Number 23. I found the documents that were missing from the folder. A. I will hold a space for Ms. Smith. B. Yes, the folders are missing. C. Please bring them with you to the meeting. Number 24. When will the concert start? A. The symphony is nearly an hour long. B. As soon as everyone is seated. C. It was first performed ten years ago. Number 25. Weren't you surprised that Mr. Lee missed the meeting? A. Very good. B. The top prize. C. Yes, I was. Number 26. Would you recommend the new novel by Paul Miller? A. Well, maybe not to everyone. B. On the bookshelf. C. I got some good comments from him. Number 27. Where should I send the revised version of the contract? A. He's probably from the United States. B. I think my home address would be best. C. Yes, the last page has five mistakes. Number 28. How do you like the new filing system? A. It's quite efficient, actually. B. I'd like to make some copies. C. I borrowed them from my sister. Number 29. What time does the post office open on Saturdays? A. In an office building down the street. B. Yes, you always have to wait a long time there. C. There's a schedule on the door. Number 30. Where's the supervisor who's in charge of this project? A. He went to the main office for the afternoon. B. In another week or two at the most. C. We charge $30 for this projector. Number 31. I'd prefer to stay at the Capitol Hotel during the conference, wouldn't you? A. Yes, it was a very interesting conference. B. Yes, I prefer that hotel too. C. No, it's on the third floor of the hotel. Number 32. Were you going to get in touch with Mario... Or was he going to call you? A. I'm supposed to contact him. B. It was Mario. C. We're going there now. Number 33. Don't you want to get some coffee before we go back to the office? A. 
No thanks, I don't need any copies. B. Yes, that's a great idea. C. Oh, the office is over there. Number 34. Please feel free to ask me if you need any help. A. Yes, I feel fine. B. That's very kind of you. C. Yes, anything you want. Number 35. Should I schedule the meeting for earlier in the day or later? A. Any time in the morning is okay with me. B. Yes, I've met with the day shift workers. C. No, I wasn't late for the meeting. Number 36. How about giving me a hand with this projector? A. We project steady growth. B. Sure. Let me hold it for you. C. It's a good idea to hand them out. Number 37. Do you think Ms. Dumont will receive an award this year? A. She sent the invitation to Ms. Dumont. B. I don't think I recognize him. C. Yes, she's been working so hard. Number 38. How about going out for lunch today instead of eating in the cafeteria? A. I agree. They serve good food for lunch. B. Yes, the cafeteria is open from 11 to 2.30. C. I have a one o'clock meeting, so that won't work today. Number 39. Don't you need to leave soon? A. Not for another hour. B. It'll get there soon. C. I don't need it yet. Number 40. This office is so hot today. A. No, not for me, thanks. B. Yes, she's in the office today. C. Maybe we can open a window. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. I heard you went to that new restaurant on Queen Street. What's the name of it again? It's called The Walnut Tree. It was great. Terrific food, fast service, pleasant setting. That's good to know. I have some clients coming in from out of town next week, and I'd like to take them to some place nice. How are the prices? Not bad at all. Oh, and here, I got one of their business cards with their address and phone number. You can have it. Number 41. What are the man and woman talking about? Number 42. What is the man planning to do next week? Number 43. What does the woman give the man? Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Here's the company president's monthly message for the newsletter. Thank you. Do you have a minute to help me? I'd be happy to, but I've never worked on a newsletter. Don't worry about that. I just need another opinion about the placement of the photographs. Number 44. 
What is the woman working on? Number 45. What does the man give the woman? Number 46. What does the woman ask the man to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Hmm, I want to wear this dress on Saturday, but it should really be cleaned. Ted, could you leave it at the cleaners on your way to work today and tell them I need to have it back by Saturday morning? I have to get to the office early this morning to work on that speech I'm giving next week, but I could do it tomorrow. What's happening on Saturday anyway? It's your cousin's wedding. How could you forget? Why don't you drop off your suit along with my dress? This Saturday? I can't believe it. I have tickets to the first ball game of the season, and I've been looking forward to it for a long time. Number 47. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 48. Why does the man have to go to work early this morning? Number 49. Where did the man plan to go on Saturday? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, this is Annabelle Futuro. I haven't received my ticket yet for a flight I'm leaving on tomorrow. Peter sent me a ticket a few weeks ago, but the wrong date was on it. So I called and spoke with Indira, and she said that I would be re-ticketed. Thank you for calling. I'm afraid that Indira has left the company rather suddenly, and Peter's on vacation but I'll do my best to help you. The ticket was supposed to be here last week. I'm speaking at an award ceremony, and it's very important that I be there tomorrow. Here, I found you in the computer. Well, the ticket was mailed just yesterday. I apologise for this inconvenience, Miss Futura. I'll issue you another one and send it by messenger to your office before noon. Number 50. What is the man's occupation? Number 51. Why does the woman call the man? Number 52. Why is Indira not in the office? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Sorry that I couldn't go to lunch today with you, Beth. When I got to the office this morning, there was an email from my supervisor about a special staff meeting at 11.30. That's okay, Jack. I just went and got a sandwich from the cafeteria and ate it in the park. So, what was the meeting about? Well, they announced a contract with Yoon Corporation to develop a new software program. But because of the deadline, we'll probably have to work a lot of overtime to finish up the work by January 1st. You should be happy to get the contract. Lots of companies around here have had to lay off employees recently because they don't have enough work for them to do. Number 53. How did Beth spend her lunch hour? Number 54. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 55. How does Beth say Jack should feel? Number 56. 
Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Jeffrey Hines speaking. This is Martha Benjamin. I'm calling to let you know I've put my research report in the inter-office mail. You should have it this afternoon. I hope you're still willing to review it for me. Of course. I'll be out of town on business for the next few days, but I'll take it with me. I also have your request for additional money to continue your research. Thanks very much. Don't worry about the typos. I'll be sending the report to an editor. But please make suggestions about the content. It's only the first draft, and I'm going to make revisions. I'm really looking forward to your feedback. Number 56. What is the purpose of Martha's call to Jeffrey? Number 57. What department does Martha most likely work in? Number 58. What does Martha plan to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hello, are you Maurice Pochon? I'm Marie Rowland. Housekeeping sent me to help you set up the dining room. This isn't my usual job at the hotel, so I'm afraid you're going to have to show me what to do. Well, first we need to clear the dirty dishes and linens from the tables. We just had 50 or 60 people in here for breakfast. After we finish that, then we need to put the clean tablecloths on all of the tables. Then I'll show you how to do the place settings. Okay, sounds simple enough. Why don't you just show me where to put the dirty dishes and tablecloths, and then we can get to work. Number 59. Where does Marie probably work? Number 60. What will Maurice show Marie? Number 61. What will Marie do first? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. If it will help, we can reschedule tomorrow's staff meeting to 2 o'clock, but we'd have to meet in the small conference room. I still won't be able to attend, so don't change your plans for me. I'll be at the Board of Trustees meeting all day, presenting our division report. If we postpone the staff meeting until next week, would you be able to report on the board meeting? I'm sure that would be interesting for the staff. Of course. I'd be very happy to. I'll try to prepare a summary by then. Number 62. Why is the woman unable to attend the staff meeting tomorrow afternoon? Number 63. What does the woman suggest the man do? Number 64. What will the woman do at the next staff meeting? Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Thanks for stopping by, Ms. DiVincenzi. Today I'm going to give you the specifications for the project as well as a contract. You'll receive a confidentiality agreement from our legal department in the mail. You should return both as soon as possible. When is the assignment due? Initially, the schedule is rather tight. We'd like the first part by the end of next month. The remainder can wait until the end of the year. That should be just fine. I'll get started right away. Number 65. What are the speakers mainly discussing?
Number 66. What will the legal department send? Number 67. When should the project be completed? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. I can't believe the trouble we had coming up with the design for our new logo. It seems to have taken forever. Yes, but the results are worthwhile, don't you think? It sums up exactly what our company stands for. It looks both sporty and dependable. Yes, and it comes out well both small on our letterhead and large on our store signs and products. Look at these tennis rackets and our new mountain bikes. They look fantastic. Number 68. What are the speakers discussing? Number 69. What is an aspect of the company that the man thinks is important? Number 70. What type of company do the speakers most likely work for? Go on to the next page. Part 4. Directions. You will hear some short talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each short talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will be spoken only one time and will not be printed in your test book. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following talk. Hello. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself, and then I'll move on to the demonstration. My name is Deborah Page, and I've been a professional chef with The Seasoned Cook for five years now. In this role, I've been able to work doing two things I love, cooking and meeting new people. The Seasoned Cook was founded 20 years ago to provide people with kitchen products that reduce both cooking and cleanup time. Tonight I'll be preparing two easy, delicious treats for you. The first is an appetizer that can be made very quickly using several prepared items from the supermarket. The second treat is a dessert that takes a little bit longer to make, but is well worth the trouble. As I prepare these dishes, I'll be demonstrating some of our efficient, effective, inexpensive kitchen products for you. And at the end of the demonstration, we'll all be able to sample the results. Then I'll help you place your orders for seasoned cook products. Number 71. Who is the speaker? Number 72. What does the speaker say about the dessert? Number 73. What will happen last? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following talk. And the last stop on our tour is the cafeteria. The cafeteria is open in the morning from 7 to 10 and for lunch from 12 noon to 2.30. Hot food is served from this area on the right. Sandwiches and snacks are over there on the left. And in the middle here is the salad bar. In your employee orientation pack, you'll find a cafe card. This first one is complimentary. It has 10 euros worth of credit on it. When you've selected your food, take it to the checkout. The cashier will add up your purchases and tell you how much credit you have left. When it is used up, you can purchase a new card. There is a card machine in the lobby. Let's all get a cup of coffee and sit here in the cafeteria where I'll try to answer any questions you have. 
Number 74. Who is being addressed? Number 75. What is true about the cafe card? Number 76. Where is the group of people? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following radio announcement. Good morning. I'm Bob Lucas, and I'll be your host on Money Talks here on BQ Radio tomorrow morning at 10. We've got a great lineup for you this week. We'll be giving you a rundown on the latest credit card deals from the big banks and discussing pension plans and when you should start saving for retirement. In the Your Money slot, you can hear local financial advisor Diane Lee talking to school teacher Joanne Hopkinson about her personal finances and helping her to find ways to save money on her tax and mortgage payments. And, of course, Money Matters' own investment consultant Antonio Moreno will be giving you some hot tips on investments. So to learn how to manage your money, tune in to Money Talks tomorrow at 10 with me, Bob Lucas. Number 77. When will the program be broadcast? Number 78. What is the purpose of the radio show Money Talks? Number 79. Who will provide advice on investments? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following voicemail message. Hi, Ms. Roberts. This is William from the Victoria Theatre. I wanted to give you an update on your group reservation. I've booked 40 tickets for your group to see the musical Running Away next Thursday. As we discussed, you've received a 25% discount because of the size of your group. You will find the seat number at the bottom of each ticket. They're very good seats in the centre close to the stage. Now, as part of our special group promotion, as I explained, all of you will be able to meet the actors after the show to ask questions and get autographs. Just remember that these seats cannot be changed and the tickets cannot be returned. Number 80. Why has the price of the tickets been reduced? Number 81. What special offer are the ticket holders given? Number 82. What restriction does the man mention? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following speech. I am delighted to see that we have such a full house for this afternoon's lecture. I can see by the overwhelming attendance that today's topic and the new exhibit are of interest to many in our community. The photographs, which are on loan from a number of local businesses and private collectors, trace the history of the area from its beginning as a small stop on a 19th century railway line to its current status as a modern city. And that is what we have asked historian and storyteller Mark Wise to share with us today. Number 83. What does the speaker imply about the audience? Number 84. What is the speaker doing? Number 85. 
Who is Mark Wise? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following voicemail message. Hello, Mr. Ostrom. This is Marianne McCrossan from DEB Corporation. I wanted to let you know that we were all impressed by your presentation earlier this week. We'd like you to give us a quote on the project. So I've gone ahead and emailed a formal request for a bid to you. We'll need to receive the information by November 14th at the latest. Please note that we will not be able to accept anything submitted after that date. It would be great if you could get it to us sooner. If you have any questions about the specifications, call me at 555-4767. We look forward to receiving your bid. Number 86. What is the message mainly about? Number 87. What does the speaker say about Mr. Ostrom's presentation? Number 88. Why does the speaker mention November 14th? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following speech. I'd like to start out by telling you how much I appreciate the trophy and the recognition it signifies. I have been with J&B Limited since the beginning, when Jeff and I were just a couple of guys working in a rented garage. We've gone from producing and selling audio recordings of local musicians to being one of the nation's largest and most respected providers of quality entertainment products. We now produce and distribute everything from music to movies and video games. And while I appreciate the honor you're bestowing on me this evening, I want to stress that my success would not have been possible without the hard work and dedication of my wonderful colleagues, many of whom are here tonight. With our success as a company has come responsibility to our industry, to our community, and most of all to our loyal customers who have contributed to support and purchase our products. I'm looking forward to many more happy years with J&B Limited. Number 89. What is the purpose of the speech? Number 90. What does J&B Limited sell? Number 91. What does the speaker suggest? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following speech. We're very happy to welcome you to the historic city of Brantford and to have you join us on one of our tours today. The entire trip will take most of the afternoon, We'll start with a fairly short tour of the city centre area, driving by the main landmarks there, and that will take us about half an hour or so. You'll see the city's distinctive architecture, dating back to the late 18th century, and we'll stop briefly at the government buildings before leaving the city centre. Then, after we leave the city, we'll cross one of the oldest suspension bridges in the world. We'll proceed to the National Museum of Art, and then to our highly regarded weather observatory. If you have any questions, feel free to address them to me at any time. Now, let's begin our tour. Number 92. What does the speaker say about Brantford? Number 93. What landmark is located in the center of the city? Number 94. What landmark will be visited last?
Go on to the next page. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following speech. Thank you for coming here today. I hope you're all enjoying the lunch. As you know, we're here to celebrate with Mr. Kim, who is retiring after 37 years with New Star Corporation. When he started here as an inexperienced university graduate, he had no idea that he would be president of the company one day. But he never stopped trying to improve things. With great persistence, he never gave up. He worked his way up to become the company's leader. Even in this last year of his service to New Star, Mr. Kim initiated a market research study to reevaluate our company's performance and ensure its continued profitability. On a very personal level, I believe Mr. Kim has inspired each one of us with his wisdom, fairness, and empathy towards all staff, from board members to our newest recruits. Please join me in wishing Mr. Kim a fond farewell. Number 95. What is the purpose of the luncheon? Number 96. What is Mr. Kim's position with New Star Corporation? Number 97. According to the speech, what quality helped Mr. Kim succeed? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk. Hello, everyone. My name's Brian Collins, and I work for Selectron Tools, a family firm based in Melbourne. We make kitchen utensils of the finest quality and offer them to buyers like you so that you can sell them in your high-quality retail stores. Our products are handcrafted to be as beautiful as they are functional. They're also guaranteed for life if they ever need repair. In countries where they've been introduced, they're extremely popular with the most discriminating customers. As a result, we're going to be offering our products to retail stores in additional countries. Moreover, we're adding a custom order line. You order a set of knives, for example, and you choose how you want to customize them. Have your family name engraved, choose what type of handles you want, and so on. I think you'll be happy to place an order for your retail stores with us once I've shown you some of our products. You can always send them back for a full refund if you're not delighted with your sales. Number 98. Who is the audience for this talk? Number 99. What is implied about the products Selectron sells? Number 100. What type of new products will be offered? 